Sienna Pecor, the teen convicted in a fatal Green Bay crash from 2022, has been sentenced to nine years in prison. The then 15-year-old was driving more than 110 miles per hour, killing a passenger in her vehicle. Sienna Pecor, now 17, learned her fate in court Friday for the October 2022 crash that killed her passenger, 17-year-old Cruz Beltran. I understand there are consequences for every action, and I know there will be consequences for my actions, and I will accept those. I put myself and others in harm's way, and the result was tragic. My intentions were not to inflict harm or to cause any suffering. I will forever have to carry this burden, burden with me knowing what I have done. You've got a life that Cruz doesn't have. I mean, if you talk about your situation and Cruz, Cruz's situation, who got the better deal? For charges of second-degree reckless homicide and recklessly endangering safety, PCOR was given nine years in prison plus an additional six years of extended supervision. PCOR didn't have a driver's license and took her mother's car without permission. She was driving over 110 miles per hour through the intersection of Mason and Oneida Streets in Green Bay. I was a DA for 24 years. I've been a judge for 12 years. I've seen a lot of bad stuff. I've seen a lot of terrible conduct. But I don't know if I've ever seen, until recently, on Lombardi, driving that is this dangerous. The sentence includes PCOR paying $13,000 in restitution, serving 300 hours of community service, and addressing high school students about making good decisions. I'm determined to fix myself and become the best version of myself. Moving forward, I'm committed to being a positive, contributing member in my community. I want to share my testimony to help others not make the same mistakes I have made. The sentence is more than the eight-year prison term the state had asked for. The defense wanted jail time equal to what PCOR has already served with extended supervision. Now, before her sentencing, PCOR read a statement to the court apologizing for the crash. You can watch that entire statement within this story on our website at fox11online.com. I want to start off by saying thank you so much for hearing me out for what I have to say. I'm not writing this letter to make excuses for myself or for my recklessness, but to take accountability for my actions. <laughs> I, I understand the seriousness of what I have done. And I understand there are consequences for every action, and I know there will be consequences for my actions, and I will accept those. I put myself and others in harm's way, and the result was tragic. My intentions were not to inflict harm or to cause any suffering. I will forever have to carry this burden, burden with me, knowing what I have done. I'm not sure if I will ever be able to forgive myself, but if I don't continue to try and move forward, it will completely consume me. Your Honor, I'm not the person my circumstances make me out to be. Since being incarcerated, I have taken a serious look at my life, and I realized I need to make some significant changes. My role models were not ones to look up to when I was heading down the wrong path. However, since realizing this, I have removed myself from bad influences, and I am now working on trying to better myself academically, spiritually, emotionally, and physically. I'm currently enrolled in full-time school to recover any missing credits and working on getting my high school diploma. I, part I participate in extracurricular classes such as Bible study, Golden House mentoring, Young Life, and I work with the school counselor on social and emotional skills, employability skills, and planning for my future. The reason I participate in these activities is because I want to grow both personally and intellectually. I'm eager for improvement and success. On my own time, I have devoted myself to daily meditation and prayer. I put myself on a healthy schedule and obtain small and yet meaningful goals. Through self-reflection, I've been able to identify my faults, bad habits, and what led me to be incarcerated. I'm determined to fix myself and become the best version of myself. Moving forward, I'm committed to being a positive, contributing member in my community. 
I want to share my testimony to help others not make the same mistakes I have made. I want to bring others hope and show them that there is light that will lead them forward. I know that you want to make an example out of me in my case, but I ask that you make the example that a person can overcome the odds, rehabilitate, face the consequences of their actions, and still have a fulfilling life that is full of love, success, and happiness. With all that being said, I hope you can give me one chance to prove to you that I'm changing my life for the better, and I can promise you that I have the determination to follow through. Thank you.